Hello viewers, well continuing our coverage of the EGX show we had a look at Circuit Superstars. Now we ran a trailer on this at E3 which was a first look earlier this year and of course uh, there was a bit more of an update during Gamescom but now chance for a first hands on EGX and they had two setups available here. They had the four screen split screen multiplayer uh, as well as a single screen single player option as well uh, to race on which is my first time taking a look at it. So we're just checking out here a bit of the four player action and of course first talk about it really i mean it's a nice little sort of it sort of has vibes of micro machines it's all the micro machines game that we've wanted but but codemasters haven't given us uh, in that sense and it, it's immediately intuitive to pick up and play and though some people here are trying to go for shortcuts that don't exist uh, they did actually get penalties against them so don't worry about that and of course a little bit of direct feed here as well just showing it in action the game itself is aiming to run at 60 frames per second which one would expect with this style of gameplay three developers uh, and you know i mean they've been in the industry a little while but um you know in terms of experience they're getting out uh, what they can and, and doing a good job so far so you see here very competitive racing between everybody i will talk a bit about that as i sort of learned how to play it myself uh, it's a very satisfying game to play and I feel it's going to be very very competitive between everybody in terms of longer race distances and of course it, it's surprisingly realistic in the way the cars handle so I got on there myself for 10 laps uh, and I just did a couple of, you know every single lap here really I'm just trying out different types of braking and different cornering types and then on the final lap I just say right let's let's do a sensible lap now and bring it together um, what do we think well first thing is braking distances you've got to brake as you normally would accelerate uh, half throttle if you go full throttle you go wide through the corner uh, you really want to get the car in on the apex as you would uh, and use all the corner use all the track uh, there's there's suspension there's there's weight in the car it's it's fascinating in a way and it was a lot of fun to play it was uh, i was just saying it was very satisfying getting the car into the apexes hooking up clean laps um, but not easy as you can see there i kept going wide through there because i was i knew there was there, there's sort of a marginal line between the limit and going over the limit and it took me a, a, a few laps to just get my eye in and also occasionally i would my direction change it was me me as a gamer i was just struggling with uh, my own uh, understanding of what was left and what was right as the car was was uh, going around the track of course you've got to just get your head into the right place uh, and it's just, it just takes a bit of getting used to in that sense but other than that uh, i found this quite a lot of fun to play it was a nice little toy car driving around really uh, the graphics on this particular circuit i felt were a bit sort of cloudy uh, and it could do, could have done with uh, a bit more sharpness, but apparently it was the style with the lighting and look, and there are lots of different tr tracks and lighting options and stuff like that in the final game. So this could be the, as I say, the game that scratches that uh, you know that, that that sort of micro machines itch, if you like, uh, and very satisfying to play throughout. So getting better and better. Looking at my braking zones, trying to hook it up more into the corners. I was trying fast entry, fast exit, still struggling with that corner. It's a strange one, it was kind of coming up on me quicker than I expected, but I get it together in the end. Uh, you, it just shows me that when you're playing with friends, you'll want to do lots of, uh, lots of testing first, just to get yourself on the pace you know, and know the track critical to actually know the track uh, as much as you can see the corner coming up for some reason I always found it surprised me and gradually getting these corners right hooking them together more and more and getting a feel for it uh, just uh, getting hooked up on that inside curve there there we are we're gradually getting there took me a few moments to get my head into left and right when you're driving around the circuit and getting the power into the right way as I say, you'll you look like quarter throttle going around there. You're not full throttle at all. You're, you're controlling the power in the car and then launching it down the straight, essentially. Uh, so, really enjoyed that few laps. Uh, and, and so, uh, Circuit Superstars, yeah, 
A lot of fun to play, uh, lots of potential on this one, and one which we'll be coming back to uh, next year and, and seeing further updates on it and keeping a close eye on it. More news on the website, uh, and that's it for this video. Do check out more of the action from EGX on the channel. Do like and sub subscribe. Uh, it supports what we do. Do join the Patreon, and there's chances to win games. Uh, we're getting the Patreon reset up and relaunched in these next few weeks. So do support that because it really does support us in supporting all these indie games as well as the big games as well. You know, we don't get as much traffic on these games, but we do like to support indie developers and show the unique projects that they have. It's really important. But um, that's it from me for now. As ever, more soon. Hello, beautiful. Thanks for watching the video today. Hope you enjoyed it. Do like and subscribe. Supports what we do. And also check in the description if you want to become a YouTube member or Patreon. Support us in every way possible to get out there and get some awesome content. But um, that's it. Hope you've enjoyed it. Check out these videos. Check out the site. And there'll be more from me very soon.